So on, uh, after 12 weeks, we were shipped down to New Orleans. Two days later, I was on the United Fruit ship. It's a banana boat. And I, I didn't know much about the ship, but I did learn about it. So we went down, uh, we'd just come out of the shipyard, and they mounted two gun, uh, five inch 51, and then they put two 30 caliber machine guns, vintage Spanish-American war on the wings of the bridge. <laughs> and and uh, so uh, we, went, we went down the river in my first experience steering a ship, and uh, I, w I was an oil, supposed to be an ordinary seaman, but they had no able seaman, so I had to take the place of an able seaman. So I steered the ship, and we went out the river, and uh, it was fascinating for me to see all that brown water yet in the Gulf of Mexico from the mouth of the river. So at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, we just finished lunch, and we all mustered on the fantail, and we had five Navy men on the ship. Two of them were vintage Navy men. They were ready to retire, <laughs> and they were in, in the war. And the other one were three just recruits come out of the Great Lakes uh, Training School. So as we're standing at the gun tub and talking, so I had some training in, in the guns in the Maritime School. And uh, so uh, we got all the seamen that had no training, and we were starting to drill them. Lo and behold, the submarines <laughs> comes up. <laughs> they thought we had no guns, so they were shooting the ships to save torpedoes. Well, these Navy guys were crack gunners, these old timers. On the second shot, they hit the conning tower, yeah, blew it up. And we kept on going, and traveling at a great speed. Now, banana boats were made so they could, in case of storms came up, they could hold the ship up hove to for three days, and to get the bananas in port, they could speed, almost like a destroyer they were. And they had an extra boiler. Well, this time they had it kept fired up, any time emergency. So we traveled on zigzag. As we're going along, we get to a place off the coast. We're heading for Panama. As we get to the uh, place what they call Mosquito Channel off Nicaragua and those places off Central America, that night, just at dusk, there were four submarines out there, and they were being, it was a, uh, there was a, uh, a sailboat alongside one of them, must have been supplying them. So they were signaling to us, but we could turn speed. 